I was told that I am ineligible to take my exam back in 2021 as a result of clinical and theory deficiency in maternal and infant. Do I want to continue working as a bedside nurse or a floor nurse? No, I don't. And I come to understand that if you're a UK trained nurse, it is better to go through ERAS. However, if you are looking at going through this route, one thing I'm going to be honest with you about is you're going to need money. At this point in time, the only advice I want to take is from people who are going to tell me how to go from a six-figure salary to seven. That is the only advice. So the only thing that is my business as of now is assessing, diagnosis, prescribing, and follow-up. Everything else counts me out. I was going through something called www.confuse.com. I'm a UK RN. I'm a US That sounds nice. <laughs> hey guys hey <laughs> welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well thank you so much for joining me once again back onto my channel my name is belinda and if you've not already subscribed press the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you get a notification every time i upload if you're new on my channel hi my name is belinda i'm a uk rn i'm a us that sounds nice. I'm a UK nurse. I'm a US nurse. Hey, get into that. Get into that. Get into that. <laughs> and if you're an oldie, <laughs> welcome back. Hi, thank you for sticking by. So I've been gone for a very long time. Okay. I'm still going to catch up with you guys in another video about what took place, etc., etc., etc. But in this specific video, I want to talk about one of my most requested videos ever. So recently I joined TikTok. Yes, I'm a bit late. I'm a bit late because, you know, something about social media, there's certain things that are just like, mm, do I really want to participate in this? But anyway, I deactivated my Instagram. You won't find me on Instagram at this point in time. No, you won't. However, I am on TikTok and I posted a video. I mean, it's a 30 second video. It wasn't even that long about how my UK nursing degree was not accepted. In other words, rejected by CGNFNS. And I also specified the reason for it. Okay. And of course, as social media is, always expect the worst. <laughs> and I just had to sit back and laugh. And I'm just thinking to myself, do you know what? There's always people who don't know the whole application process on how it works that will have the most to say. And in that video, this is what I came to understand. A lot of people were giving out advice. And you know what it is? I came to understand that I cannot, and you too, you should not, Listen to advice from anyone who is not where you want to be in life. This is now where people will say, million advisors, zero helpers. <laughs> I said, God, all of these people. And I'm like, for me to do that video was because at that given point in time, that challenge of not being able to write the NCLEX at that given point in time is done. That is a thing of a past. That was 2021. This is 2024. That's literally three years later. I'm graduating with my MP. And you know what? I'm so surprised because by that time, a lot of people have reached out to me to say, wow, how did you do it? And I'm just like, so I'm not the only one, but people want to be going on as if I happen to be the only one, you know? So if you guys are familiar how the UK nursing system works, okay? In the UK, nursing is not general. Why? I don't know. Who decided to do that? I don't know. I found it like that. So in the US, nursing is general. They don't have like the UK where you have mental health nursing, adult nursing, learning disability, children's nursing, and then you've got midwifery on its own. In the US, everything is everything. Psychiatric, pediatrics, labor and delivery, the whole shebang. That is what they are doing. And so is the rest of the world. But the UK, obviously, special country as it is. So... I'm going to do a bit of a background story about myself real quick so you guys can get the gist of actually what I'm about to say so you can follow exactly how it all happened. So I did an access course to nursing in the UK. Then I went ahead and actually applied for mental health nursing. Towards the end of my first year of mental health nursing, I decided, you know what? I am stopping. In other words, I'm not stopping to work here as a nurse unless I'm going to study medicine. That's why I went and decided to go through the medicine route. In my second year of nursing, I switched from mental health nursing to adult nursing. By the time I graduated, I graduated as an adult registered nurse. Thereafter, upon obtaining my transcript, I started my whole CGNFNS application. Yes, it was quick. Yes, I wanted to leave 
So I submitted my transcript, had my transcript evaluated by CG and FNS. I even went to the extent of actually expediting my application. In other words, to get feedback rapidly in terms of whether I will be eligible or ineligible to write the NCLEX exam. At that given point in time, when I received my result, I was told that I am ineligible to take my exam back in 2021 as a result of clinical and theory deficiency in maternal and in other. So the US is made up of 50 states. Each state has its own board, in other words, board of nursing. Each board of nursing has their own requirement. It's not like the UK where, whether you're in Northern Ireland, North Yorkshire, Leeds, wherever you are, all registered nurses are governed by the NMC. So when I did my whole application, and I come to understand that if you're a UK trained nurse, it is better to go through ERAS. However, I also come to understand that not all states in the US will accept E-R-E-S as a form of evaluation. Now, I know you're going to say, well, that doesn't make sense. Now, if you guys are going to do your research, I'm going to insert it on the screen. I will leave the link in the description so you guys can see which state will accept E-R-E-S as a form of educational evaluation in this case. Most states will accept CGNFNS. There is just a few states that will accept E-R-E-S. And that is what you need to be aware of. So I came across this information. I was like, okay, fine. You know, maybe I should go through the ERAS route. Then I looked, I sat down and I really started doing my research on the whole US immigration process. And obviously at that point in time, I had some knowledge to some degree about how long nurses wait. <laughs> how long nurses wait to relocate to the US. Now I know it's not going to be everybody's, but I would say about 80% of foreign trained nurses wait a long, long time. That is why you find that most foreign trained nurses would rather relocate to the UK because the application process is faster than the US. Now, normally they say that it should take anything between one year to one and a half years. Unfortunately, that one and one to one and a half years has now increased as a result of retrogression. So that is something that I took into account. I know of nurses who waited four, five years, some two, Two and a half. That's if your application goes smoothly. That's if you pass the NCLEX at the first setting. That's if all your documentation that you have submitted is correct. Because these are all the things that you need to take into account that may possibly hold you back. So then I looked at it and I'm thinking, do you know what? At this point in time, I think I'm going to take the student route. Now, at that point in time, I came across a program called an ABSN. An ABSN is called an Accelerated Bachelor of Science of Nursing. So in other words, an ABSN is basically tailored to somebody who already holds a non-nursing degree. None, none. Let's let's use that. None nursing degree and wants to become an RNBSM here in the USA. So upon me starting to submit my application, there are a few universities that rejected me because I already hold a nursing degree. There are a few universities that rejected me because they do not accept F1 visa students. Now there are universities that say, do you know what? Come. Now the university that I actually applied to, initially I was supposed to do the whole program for 18 months. And the time I submitted my application, my application was passed on from the admissions at the university to the Dean of Nursing. Because according to what they told me, they have never seen something like this before. They've never had something like this before. In other words, someone who already holds a nursing degree that wants to go ahead and do another nursing degree. They've never seen this before. So what she did, bless her, very lovely lady. She started to say to me, Belinda, what you need to do step one is to get your transcript evaluated. So what I did is I took my nursing degree and sent it off to West, which is the evaluation company again for them to be able to obtain my UK nursing grades and be able to put it up to US nursing grades. Then afterwards, I had to do a course by course module. So every single module that I did in university, I had to submit it alongside the evaluation. So that is what she did. So at the time of her evaluating my transcript, she waived certain modules because she says I have already done them back in the UK. Now, before you get admission into this ABSN program, you need to have completed certain prerequisites. You cannot go straight into the program unless you have completed a prerequisite. In America, everything is prerequisite. So pre, some modules that you have to complete before you get admission. If you don't pass those modules, you will not get admission into that program. So these are the following prerequisites that you will need to complete. Even if you already are a licensed nurse in the US and you want to do your master's, you have to complete these prerequisites. You will have to complete human physiology with lab, microbiology with lab, 
chemistry with lab, human anatomy with lab, nutrition, psychology, sociology, and some type of math, it depends. I did statistics, quantitative maths, as well as college algebra. The reason I did the other two was because of my pre-made route, which is a conversation for another day. Okay, so these are the most common prerequisites that you're going to need before. Now, a lot of people will say these prerequisites take you one year to do. No, they don't. I completed my prerequisites within one semester, but let me tell you something. It wasn't an easy semester. In that specific semester, I went ahead and took on 28 credits per semester. In other words, 28 hours of class time, Monday to Friday, and that does not even include study. The maximum amount of credits I could take within my university was 21. Then the rest of the seven, I registered online and I did an online course with a different university. So I was in two different universities at that time. One that I was doing face to face and the rest that I was doing online. And they came together and came down to 28 credit. It was crazy. It was tough, but I wanted to wrap it up because I don't want to prolong the inevitable. So upon the completion of this, that's now when I got accepted onto the program. So obviously you're gonna have your individualized roster or timetable, if that's what you wanna call it. So I was attending that. Upon completion, now I was eligible to take the NKX exam. I'm gonna have a separate video in terms of how I study for my NKX. So that means now, at this current point in time, I do have my nursing degree from the UK as well as my nursing degree from the US. So that means I have two nursing degrees. Now, cost-wise, <laughs> you're gonna need money. I'm gonna be serious. The only thing that's gonna hinder you from this program is A, not getting approved from your visa. And if you do get approved from your visa, you will need money. So in total, my program was supposed to be like $45,000, $46,000 for one academic year. However, I managed to obtain a $12,000 scholarship. So that brought my fees down to about $32,000 in the first year. So $32,000 came out of my pocket towards my tuition fee. And that was just the first year. I'm not even taking into account what I'm doing right now. So if you are looking at going through this route, you're going to need money. You are going to need money. Do I want to continue working as a bedside nurse or a floor nurse? No, I don't. That is why I took the decision that I'm going to go ahead and study. Did I always want to become an NP? No, I didn't. Has the opportunity opened? Yes, it did. Am I going to take it? Of course I'm going to take it. So the only thing that is my business as of now is assessing, diagnosis, prescribing, and follow up. Everything else counts me out. It's not my business. So this is basically how I went doing it. It is definitely not the norm. However, this is where I am right now. And I'm so grateful. I'm telling you guys, I am so grateful that I took the route that I took because the level of knowledge I had when I was doing nursing in the UK is not what I have here. And yeah, so I'm going to have a whole different video coming out in terms of the ABCN, explaining it in details as well as the modules that we covered and what it entails. So the only video suggestions right now that I want to see is US video suggestions. Please don't ask me about the UK. I can do that because I'm here. One thing about me is I like to listen to people who have gone through experience you know for example somebody posted a video on how to relocate to australia but the person is not even in australia how are you going to post a video on how to relocate to australia if you're not in australia you need to be in australia for us to be able to watch it because we're able to see okay you know what she did it so if she did it and i follow her route i can do this well but now somebody is sitting in the uk saying oh guys if you relocate to australia you're telling us something that we already know if i want to go and do my research i know how to relocate to the australia but the thing is you 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 who's busy putting the video out there have you done it no you have not but yet you want to be out here giving advice on how to relocate to Sri Lanka. I don't get it. That's one thing I don't understand, you know? So for me, one thing about me is any sort of video that I create is something that I have personally done or have experienced. I don't like to um, create content based on something that you can get off the internet because the internet will only tell you the route to follow, but the internet will not tell you the challenges that you may possibly encounter. That is why for me, I don't just listen to advice from anyone. I was going through something called www.confuse.com. <laughs> I was just all over the place and that's why I've been gone for so long. But now my head is in the right place. I'm in the right space, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, I'm okay. So we are back. Okay, so if you guys have any sort of video suggestions that you want me to do or see, um, please do comment that down below. Please guys, only US video suggestions. Don't ask me about the UK because that's not where I am. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>